everybody and happy new year. We are now in 2021. We made it y'all. Y'all, we made it. We made it. It is so good to be in a new year. It is so good to see how far we have come. It is so great to feel encouraged and hopeful to keep going forward. Now, basically what I'm going to be doing is showing you how I got this look today, first of all. And y'all, I didn't put this up in my closet. I have never wore this. I got this from Fashion Nova some years ago and just never, ever wore it. So I was like, let me just throw this on for this YouTube video because I ain't going nowhere for New Year, so. Whatever. Now I went and got me a little headband from the Target. So, you know, nothing too special, y'all. Keep on watching to see how I got this look today. And I'm going to be giving you some pointers on how to make goals for the new year. If you suffer from anxiety or depression or PTSD or whatever it is, I'm going to give you tips on how to look forward to something. So stay tuned, boo. Again, happy, happy new year. I wish you nothing but the best. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this makeup look here, y'all. I'm gonna be a little bit more descriptive in the description box, of course, but I just want to go ahead and get started on this goal talk. So first of all, when you have anxiety or depression or PTSD or whatever it is, it's a little bit hard to set goals because you kind of really don't have hope, right? You feel like, what is the point of me setting goals? What is the point of me trying to look forward to the future when my present moment is just so sad and dreadful and just stressed and just pitiful, right? You just feel so defeated in that moment. But let me tell you something, you have to look onward because you will continue to live your life like that for years, just sad and just depressed and just having no hope and that is no way to live. So I'm just going to run down five different rules when it comes to making goals or setting goals for yourself for a new year or at any point in time, really. Um, so basically the first one is don't bite off more than you can chew. This is something I am so guilty of, child. I will make all type of goals and try to accomplish them all and feel like I am failing when I do not accomplish them all. But it's because I'm putting way too much on my plate. I am not taking baby steps. I'm not taking smaller bites. I'm doing things that are just way too big for me. And not that I cannot accomplish them or not that I'm not strong enough to accomplish them. But you know, dealing with emotional stress and trauma, it becomes a little harder to do certain things. And you want to be able to give yourself more grace and say, you know what, I can still make goals, but I'm going to ensure that they are more palatable for me. The next thing you wanna keep in mind when you're making goals is to not feel pressure to do more because the people around you have a lot of goals. There is so many times that, you know, I have felt like, wow, maybe I should be doing this because such and such is doing that. Maybe I should tweak my list of goals to, you know, look like I'm doing as much as the next person. But that is not the way to set goals for yourself. Again, it's very similar to the first goal. Do not bite off more than you can chew. What is on someone else's plate may be easier for them to digest than you. You guys do not have the same experience. You don't have the same trauma. You don't have the same level of patience. And so you wanna set goals that are tailored to who you are. Do not feel pressured or feel like you have to adjust what your goals are to match someone else's or to make yourself seem like you're doing as much as the next person. Because please believe me, that person is doing what they feel like they can achieve, what they feel like they can accomplish. And depending on who you are, that's probably just not true for you. And that is okay as well, because there are some things that you can do that they may have trouble doing. So don't ever feel like you are not achieving goals or not doing as much as the next person because you are not doing the same exact thing. The next very, very important thing is don't create goals that are centered around other people, but create goals that are centered around around your healing. So I have spent time in my life where I would make goals that are centered around other people, basically saying, you know, if I'm able to do this, then I'm able to help so-and-so. Or if I'm able to, you know, accomplish this goal, then I'm able to show up for this man or this company or, you know, um, any other relationship. I'm able to show up for them in a way that 
you know, speaks to them more than it speaks to me. And that is not the way to make goals. Our goals, especially having anxiety or depression or anything, you, you want to just make sure that what you're doing is for your true healing because you are not of any good to anybody if you are not trying to heal yourself. So even if you show up for another person, eventually down the line, it will come out, it will show up in one way or another that you have not done your part to heal yourself. And you do not want to get into a situation or a relationship that is worth having that you ruin because you were not diligent about your own healing. So when you do things with anxiety, Just make sure that you're doing it for yourself, okay? Until you can really, really heal and think more clearly, then yeah, you know, just focus on you, boo. That's all you gotta do. All right, so rule number four when you are making your goals is to do things badly. Okay, so while I was doing my makeup, y'all, I added this red color at the top and then I looked at it and I felt like this is not giving me the the look that I want to go for right here right so i was like you know what let me go ahead and take this off because it's kind of messing up the overall picture of what i'm trying to achieve right you want to do things badly just try it doesn't matter how you feel it doesn't matter what you're going through if you just do it you can make adjustments later but to say you know what i am going to do it because i know that i can i'm going to do it because it's okay to make mistakes i'm going to do it because i don't want to stay in a box you want to give yourself an opportunity to try to test yourself to just jump out there don't be afraid to make no mistakes now do things badly there are so many times where i felt like you know what, i don't want to go out because what if i embarrass myself by having a panic attack out in public it's like well you know what i'm not going to stay inside for the rest of my life because i fear what the public will do to me right so just get out there and do things badly as long as you do them they still count the last tip that i want to give you guys is to state the goal in the actions that you're going to take to achieve the goal not a date and what i mean by that is if someone asks you you know when do you want to be healed and you say oh i want to be healed by january 1st of 2021 and that date comes and you're not 100% healed like you thought that you would be, you might feel upset. You may feel like the work that you've been putting in has been pointless, and that is not the case. Be patient with yourself. Healing takes time, okay? You are a masterpiece. Everything is not going to go perfectly, but everything is gradual if you just take your time with it and think about really, really healing and getting to the bottom of the trauma, okay? Just like this makeup look, y'all, I forgot to put blush on on this whole look, but when I caught it, I just added it because sometimes I just don't do things perfectly. And that is okay. A lot of times we do things out of order, but that does not mean that we have failed. We can go back and we can change things. We can update things. We can recreate ourselves and not really worry about it being perfect and in order because we are human, okay? So show yourself some grace. I hope that you love this video and I hope that you are enjoying your new year. Go ahead and set your goals and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.